Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so we finished up our grind for the LR Prime Battle Broly. Um, I only did the grind the one time, 777 medals, easy A medals, and then I just used a bunch of Kai's to get into SA25. I Dokkan responsibly in the past so that I don't have to now in the future. I've got over well over a thousand Kai's, so I'm more than happy to do it to get him ready for showcasing straight away. So we got very lucky here with the fact that we actually have no attacks in slot one because I don't really have a slot one unit on this turn. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this. <laughs> this up way five only. Uh, starting off the turn at 22 key. Um, so yeah, this is the LR Bio Broly. Um, Lord knows why they put so much effort into this unit. Like I'd not seen his animated LR animation until we actually awakened him just now on the stream. Um, I think he's actually pretty good. As much as I hate Bio Broly in general, I should preface the video by saying that for those of you who don't know. I've mentioned it plenty of times in the past. Um, but yeah, they snapped with this guy because his art's good. The unit seems really good. Um, I'm not sure what's going on at Dokkan HQ for that decision to be made. But uncontrollable power, category 4 key and 150%. My decent leader skill, obviously the new category for the celebration. His super attacks, the 12 key greatly raises attack for one turn, does colossal damage and lowers attack. And then the 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and does mega colossal damage. So he doesn't get any extra defense on additionals, but he does greatly raise on his 18 key super. Um, and then we get his entrance animation, which gives him 8 to 10 key randomly at the start of the turn. So it's 8, 9 or 10, which is very random. Recovers 26% HP at the end of the turn and launches a guaranteed additional super. And that's for four turns. Um, and you get that if you have an uncontrollable power ally on the team, which is basically free with the characters you're going to be running him with, right? Then his base passive outside of the intro animation is key three and a high chance to crit. So he has 50% chance to crit just built into his kit. Three key. Uh, then he gets a second defense, 180% and 30% damage reduction. Uh, when performing a super attack. So he gets 180% when supering and 30% damage reduction. And then he has base 30% damage reduction when all allies attacking in the same turn are uncontrollable power characters. So once he supers, he's got 60% damage reduction. Then he gets an additional chance to crit 6% up to 30 and damage reduction 6% up to 30 with each turn passed. And starting from the seventh turn, he starts to lose that damage reduction, the extra 30. So... I don't know if that counts his first turn. So like on the first turn, does he have 66% or does it have to be after the first turn? I'm not really sure, but we're going to see what he's looking like here. And then, of course, he has an active skill, uh, which can be used when all allies in the same turn are uncontrollable power starting from the sixth turn. And it does damage uh, and gives him guard and the target ability. So the thing is, because that counts as him attacking, that then activates his passive. So he's attacked, he gets the extra damage reduction. And because you have to wait until turn six, that's when he's built up that full damage reduction from the build up. So on the turn where you use the active skill, if you use it straight away, he has the target, all attacks on himself, but then he has guard and 90% damage reduction. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Um, so his start of turn defense is absolutely awful though. 80k defense. Um, and then bear in mind, he's going to get 180% on super. So that's what, like 150k basically. Um, and then he does greatly raise on super, which is giving him like another, what, 140. So he's only going to be at around, what, 260k, 270k, something like that. But he does have 60% damage reduction even on this first turn. So let's go ahead and do this grab these for you and then i guess you can just have this he does have big bad bosses so i do want to get cell max next to him at some point here um so yeah five million attack stat for the first turn there's the crit see mine has like well i think because one of the skill orbs i gave him to give him some extra dodge actually had like two crit on it as well but i didn't give him any crit in his base hidden potential because he has that built-in chance um Let's see what he takes here from this. Yes, he still takes 278k from a super from that Gohan. So he is a unit that we talked about when we were reading his kit because he builds up as the turns pass. The one thing I actually haven't seen yet in terms of confirmation is whether some units like Bulma 
for example, El Arboma, builds up by it's the turns that she's on rotation. And then characters like Golden Freezer, that he loses damage reduction, it counts every turn even when he's not on rotation. Um, I need to see confirmation of how that works for Bio Broly, because obviously if he gets 6% every turn, He's then gone now for two turns, so when he comes back, does he have an extra 6% or an extra 12%? Because he's been gone for two turns. Um, I'm assuming it's the it counts the non-turns, because Freezer has it for the losing damage reduction. And whilst he's gaining it, he is then also losing it once you get to a certain turn. Because the thing with this guy, I mean, you can see straight away with the damage that he took right there on turn one from a super from, like, you know, this is phase one of the new blue zone with Gohan. I did this stage because we have the immortal Goku in phase two, so we can kind of get some build up with some of these characters. Um, but yeah, so like, he's, he's he got hit quite hard by that Gohan, considering he's not exactly a crazy boss first phase. But the strategy for this Broly, I guess, because he's a free to play, as good as he may or may not be, the strategy for him is probably just to float him off in slot three on the first turn. Because then by the time he comes back, it's turn four. So as long as it does work, like the freezer damage reduction thing, he'll have another 18% damage reduction by the time he comes back the second time. So then post super, he's looking at 78% damage reduction. And of course, we haven't seen him with big bad bosses. So we're going to go ahead and float off Cell Max here. Um... Do this and then do this. Because here we want to get Cell Max and Bio Broly together. I mean, this is the thing, right? With no, with basically no start of turn defense, like he definitely is not a slot one unit, except for the active skill turn, right? Because then when he has guard and 90% damage reduction, the active skill counts as him attacking, so he'll get the 180% buff. Um, so like, that's the only time really he can be um, really, really useful in slot one. Yeah, it says with each turn passed, exactly. So it'd be weird otherwise, because if it only counted the turns he was on and you floated him off, like, it would take him forever to even get to the point where he starts losing it again. So, yeah, I'm assuming it works that way. It counts the turns that he's not on rotation. So with each turn passed, so now that it's turn three, it should count turn one as well, right? So... He should have gained an extra 18% damage reduction here on this turn. Let's put the goo in slot 3. That's no, slot 2 here. So we'll do that. Do that. And then once Goku shows up, we can just start only attacking Goku, basically. And see what we're looking like here. So we go one more. Next turn we'll have Cell Max, so we'll have Big Bad Bosses active. Man, I want to see. I want to see what he looks like if we can get the Int Broly to revive. So we have like the sixty percent support. <laughs> Even his super attack animations are pretty good as well. <laughs> but yeah, the additional twelve key doing three million. Not exactly a crazy amount, and then three point one on the extra additional. I mean, he's not a damage dealer, right? So... There's the dodge. So that's why I would say his build, best build is full dodge, because in the first turn especially, he can get caught. I would kind of like to have seen how much that would have done, right? Considering he probably has, he has what, 78% damage reduction on this turn. Um, that probably would have still done damage. Like, it's not going to have done double-digit damage, but... So AGL Broly's now going to get off his 50 million attacks. And then Goku comes in. We can start targeting Goku and then get some build up for some of these guys. Mm 
Actually, what was the rotation I had on that previous turn? Why didn't I use the Imp Brody Domain? I should have been able to use it, right? Oh, I should have targeted Goku. Oops. I love the animation for that, though. It's so good. Right. So we'll turn the animations off now until we're ready to use Bio Brody's active skill. Transform you. I should probably float him off because I really don't want Int Brody getting destroyed by this guy. Also, yeah, if I only do the 12 key super, we don't get the AoE. So. I've had the Bio Broly heals 26% at the end of the turn is quite good as well, right? Because we double check what HP we actually have on this team build. 750k. So he's healing basically 25%. Um, so he's healing what? Like 180k, something like that. 190, 180, 190k. So even on that first turn where he took 200k from a super, he then basically healed all of that at the end of the turn anyway. <laughs> It's interesting because it's kind of like the Boo team, right? Where they're not necessarily tanking the hits as well as some other units, but then they just heal you back all the damage that they took. Well, something like that I think is cool for this Bio Broly. If, like, he does take a little bit of damage, but then he's healing it all back, it's essentially as good as him tanking for double digits. The only difference is when you're on lower HP, obviously that would be not ideal. Alright, so now we have Big Bad Bosses, Saiyan Lineage prepared for battle and legendary power. So now he starts to turn on 156k. So I believe that the 180% on super, it should be based on this number, right? Because it's on super buffs take into account the other like things going on, right? So if we do 156 plus 180%. So post super, 438, then he gets the 50% from his actual super attack effect. So he should be around 500k defense after supering, which doesn't seem like a lot, but we're also on turn 5. So he's built up that 30% damage reduction now. So post super, he has 90% damage reduction. Um, so if we do that and then do that. Seven hundred and seventy six medals. Hey, you got the uh the typical prime battle RNG where the last run leaves you on seven hundred and seventy six medals, so you have to do one more run. <laughs> that genuinely has happened to me for like the last two prime battle LRs in a row. This guy I managed to get up to what was it? I needed another like nineteen and got because of all the boosts and everything, I got twenty three or something, whatever it was, and he had three extra ones, twenty two. Yeah, so he takes double digits from the super from Gohan on, obviously, now that we've got 90% damage reduction and 500k defense. I'm trying to think, I normally do the example of like a 4 million, a uh, 3 million damage super, but if we take like 4 million, take off 90%, it's 400k. Bio Broly would still obviously tank that for double digit damage. So on this turn, it takes him a while to get there. But on this turn specifically, like, he would tank a 4 million damage super attack for double digit damage, which is kind of crazy. Um, we're going to be able to use the active skill next turn. So we'll do this, because it does the AoE. Do this for some more build up for you. Let's do this. Don't want to stay in the skin the Gohan face forever. Because obviously now we're going to get to the point where now Bio Broly is going to start losing his um, damage reduction. Oh, 
And what's funny as well about, like, if you run in with Cell Max, so they're big bad bosses together, they also both have a target ability. So, like, we could use Bio Broly's one now, and then the next time he comes back around, he's lost a bit more damage reduction, but then we just use Cell Max's one. So it's kind of funny, this team now has, like, two target ability characters that you can essentially just run together. Um... It's really going to kill Gohan. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, he's he's gonna he's gonna go for it. Apparently, <laughs> he just keeps going with the attacks. So the domain ends for you. Revival is available. Which unfortunately we don't need to use now. Um, yeah, see if you have them two together, they only share big bad bosses and legendary power. So that is something to bear in mind. Let's target you just so we don't kill him with the active skill. Right, so Bio Broly's active skill. <laughs> Giant Bio Broly. And he has the target ability. Yeah, see, after supering, he gets up to 262. But he has, what, it's turn 7. So, was it starting from turn 7, he starts to lose the damage reduction, yeah. So, he'd actually be on, what, 84% damage reduction this turn instead of 90. I'll take you so that then Bio Broly... Also, we've lost the intro buff, so as you can see, we now have way less key. It's a shame we hadn't got the revive with Int Broly at this point as well, because we'd have the 60% support. Oh, wait, yeah, Cell doesn't AoE, doesn't he? I was going to say, if he doesn't crit, he won't kill him. But yeah, I forgot he has an AoE. But I mean, we only got the 12 key, so that's... I think the big thing about uh, this guy that we hadn't really factored in before is um, I hadn't really thought about like how much damage he would be doing, which I guess the damage isn't the most important part like of his kit, but his damage is definitely not great, right? Um, I mean, we could probably just one turn Gohan here, so I need to make sure we actually I need to make sure we don't do that because kind of want to see Bio Broly at least one more time. Yeah, his damage is definitely not anything impressive, right? Like, 5 million attacks that into additionals, like, 2 or 3. Um, once you get to that, like, turn 6, then obviously he's tanking basically everything in the game. Like I said, he would tank a 4 million damage super attack, pretty much for double-digit damage on that turn. Um, and then, of course, the active skill turn, like, does a bit of damage has all the attacks targeting him so i mean ideally you want that to be on the turn where he has the full buff um but yeah i mean he definitely is an interesting option for the team i think it would have been really nice if he had some support if he had support i think he'd be like an auto include on the broly team as like a floating slot three character because floating him in slot three obviously here we're showcasing him so we're keeping him on main rotation but as a floating unit like he appears on turn one and he only has the 60% the, the damage reduction post super. But then you flow him off and he comes back on turn 4. And he's already got up to 78% damage reduction. And a lot of the times in these newer events. Like the bosses are usually supering quite early in the turn. So with those kind of stats. Like he'll be tanking normals from most bosses. Um, and then of course on that turn when he comes back. If you flow him off again on turn 4. He comes back on turn 7. You use the active skill, and then he tanks everything, like, while the other two units in slot 1 and 2 just go off and do their damage. So, he seems like a very good addition to the team. I don't know if, like, individual performance, I wouldn't say he's, like, insane. But, 
in terms of like addition to the team, I think he's really good with like what he's doing. Tank number's definitely very low, but that's kind of what we would expect from a free-to-play unit, I guess. Especially with the defensive abilities that he has. Like, he's not insanely broken, like, best tank in the game every turn. But he has those couple of turns. Yeah, we just finished to wipe the floor with Gohan. We have those couple of turns where he's going to be really, really good defensively. And with the target ability, is like, super helpful. Um, and then, of course, with Int Broly on the team, if you do get caught and you're on the right rotation with the Int Broly there as well, you get the revive. Um, so, yeah, he seems like a very interesting addition to the team. Like I say, I went full dodge and then additional, just because the additional supers don't really give him anything other than doing a little bit of extra damage. Whereas, you know, the early turn, as we saw turn one, him taking 200k from that super from that physical base Gohan, like, ideally, we would just dodge that. So, full dodge. I can show you the build. I did give him some skill orbs. I was hoping he was going to get EX skill orbs from the updated Atade Village thing, and he didn't, so... I just gave him a bunch of EX ones in case he does get any more at some point, but I gave him a level 7 defense, level 4 dodge that also had level 2 crit, and then a level 4 dodge that had some extra defense. So bear in mind, the defense stats that we saw in the video, mine has defense equips on as well. But yeah, 11 additional, 23 dodge, and then he just got the random 2 extra crit, because he builds up crit chance as he goes anyway, right? So he doesn't really need crit, but... Let me know what you guys think of LR Bio Broly uh, down below in the comment section. I mean, for a Prime Battle LR, like the fact that he's actually good and like usable on release, I think is definitely good for a free-to-play unit. I do think it's weird that they gave him an easy A straight away. Uh, they could have just given him this exact kit that he has now without giving him an easy A so that he could get an easy A in the future and be like revitalized, you know, once he starts to age out. So... But they do that with free-to-play units a lot. It's weird. It's the first time they've done it with a Prime Battle unit because he's the first Prime Battle LR that we've had for ages. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of LR Bio Broly down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out all the links down below and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.